Andrew, you've written a piece about this in the paper this morning. We'll, we'll come to that. Um, what strikes me about this whole debate is that we've reached a point in this country, and possibly in the West, where we can't really talk in a relaxed way about race. Um, we can't relax into the conversation. We can't say what we really think, adding codicils and caveats and all the rest, because it is just so sensitive. So this woman writes something which a lot of people would say is a statement of the bleeding obvious uh, and ends up losing a job. What do you think? Well, she took out the codicils and caveats, as you put it, and she, she said that the Sun had stripped out the nuances, but she'd approved the piece. Her office had said she'd been thrilled with it, and then she ran away from it. That's why she had to go. She wasn't straight. And look, we discuss race all the time. I always find it quite uh, funny. It's funny in a very grim way when people say you can't discuss it. It is discussed all the time. But she said, we've got a problem with Pakistani men. No, you have a problem with some Pakistani she men. Did say and these some. street yeah, and these street grooming gangs who've been mainly Pakistani recently, you've got to remember, most people who abuse children and are on the sex offenders register, the vast majority mm. are white British men. And it's, you've got to keep the context. You've got to keep the yes, context. Kevin, I saw your face she move was there. MP you've for got Rotherham, to keep the context. where there was a terrible Absolutely. scandal. Absolutely. And one of the allegations at the time, maybe not true, but one mm. of the allegations and suggestions at the time was that one of the reasons why it took so long to bring mm. the case to light was that police were nervous yeah. about seeming to be, mm. in a sense, focusing on a certain section of computing. Yeah. They were nervous about looking racist. Mm. I read that full report, the Alexis J mm. study, into that. It's also the fact that the women who were abused, the young women, were, and some of them were uh, thought to be Asian, uh, but they didn't want to come forward, but most of them came from very disrupted backgrounds, very troubled backgrounds, they were working-class women. Mm. I've no doubt if they had been the daughters, the children of doctors, teachers, lawyers, the police would have acted quicker too. Well, it was, like it was the fact. It, was a, it sounds fact. like you're blaming the girls no, for, for, there was for their social cast. No. no well, well, it sounds like it. It's, it's, well, it's, well, it, well, it, well, it, well, it shouldn't, right. because what I'm saying is it's how sometimes the authorities and the police mm. treat people, particularly yeah. in this case. There was a class yeah. element right. as well as that they race element. They didn't present like typical Can I just pick up on something he said and throw it to you? He's saying that actually she took a too selective a view of this of this problem, that we need to see it, as you say, in the context and in the round. But actually, isn't it fair to say that there is a phenomenon, yes. uh, and particularly in northern towns, where gangs yeah. of Asian guys are f coming together to groom and rape yeah. white uh, girls? So that's a, that's a phenomenon. And I would be more specific than Asian gangs. I would say mm. Pakistani gangs, because the J report mm. was very clear. 1,400 mm. girls in her constituency had been abused over a number of years. As the constituency MP, she raised mm. this issue. Mm. She was very brave about it. And there had been, as you said earlier, a culture mm. of covering up social services please. we can't get involved in this because it will cause racial problems mm. it, we've got we don't want to cause any lack of social cohesion so she was very brave about this she wrote an article mm. in the sun you know the real problem for jeremy corbyn's labor party and leadership mm. that she wrote it in a rupert murdoch newspaper they can't bear it because rupert murdoch is seen mm. as some great devil and if she'd written it perhaps in the guardian she would still be on the Labour front bench. And she's bench. also a rebel, isn't she? I mean, she, she resigned is. from the front bench. She did. Then she came back again. I mean, and she, she wasn't forgiven for she that. She was part of the coup, really, to try and she get rid of Corbyn. So do you think the Corbynistas are, are exacting revenge for that? Yeah, they've been biding their time because last year, 80-odd fr front benchers quit in a determined attempt to get rid of Jeremy right. Corbyn when he was seen as a loser who couldn't win a goldfish in a, in a fairground. She was part of that. She came back a month later. They were biding their time. Hang on, hang on. But well, just, he just also to, got no, just... criticised, didn't he, for not taking yeah. quick action over some anti-Semitic comments within the Absolutely party, right. Jeremy Corbyn. Absolutely right. So yeah. do you think maybe he's thinking, well, I can't let this go? Yeah, although if you remember the British Pakistani uh, uh, MP, Naz Shah, who made anti-Semitic remarks, did go almost immediately. Uh, mm. So Jeremy Corbyn did, uh, did take action yeah. there, although Naz Shah herself thought it was wrong. Sarah Champion, Sarah Champion, no, she's been caught in the middle here mm. because she's been a fantastic campaigner in Rotherham, but she's written this piece, claims it was stripped of nuance, but she'd approved it, and she was th her office was thrilled, and it seemed the only thing do she was upset it, with was her own picture because it was though, five if, years if old. She'd written, if she'd written um, a rather clumsy piece about some mm. other issue, it would never have come to this. She would no. never have had to resign. It's because it was about race. Well, and that brings me back to my opening point. We act, whatever you say, yeah. I don't believe that we can have open conversations about race on the media. I know that when we prepare for items like this, and this goes back in my experience years, our heads ache 
yeah. worrying about Which, and, and getting what's what's wrong with being sensitive no, no, about Richard, an incendiary issue. Labor, what is wrong? Uh, hang on. The yeah. Labour yeah. Party, too, under Jeremy Corbyn, yeah. knows they get huge electoral yeah. support from the Pakistani community, and I think that was another oh, issue. On, they did not come want on. to come offend on. the Pakistani community. Rises on Islamophobia. Getting in the earpiece, just like the old days. Richard, shut up and move on.